the Queen noted a building with unusually lavish ornamentation, including shining bronze roof tiles and glistening rock crystal window panes. An important clan dwelled there, Gabor explained. The Brecon Riggs. Could you introduce me? Meave asked. Perhaps I can convince them to intercede with Bruver on my behalf. The clan head, Ivor, invited Meave to an exquisite feast. But when she broached the subject of the war raging just outside Mahakam's borders, the dwarf changed the subject at once. Looking around the interior, Meave quickly understood why. The walls were ordained with Nilfgaardian tapestries and rugs. Gifts from friendly Imperial envoys, no doubt. Meave prepared to leave, convinced she had wasted her time, when someone clasped her shoulder and pulled her into a darkened room. Her kidnapper turned out to be a young dwarf, female, it seemed, dressed in her nightshirt. She introduced herself as Ivor's daughter, Eudora Breckenriggs, and openly admitted she had eavesdropped on Meave's dinner conversation. Listen, me dad's stubborner than an old goat, but I'll convince him to help you for a wee favour, that is. Mm-hmm. What? I want you to steal something from the clan archive. Historiae Mahakamorum, tis called. See, me dad won't let me betroth me sweetikin Zoltan. Says the Codex forbids marrying a dwarf who's left the mountains. But there's precedent. Just such a case described in that document. If I can show it to Da, he'll have to change his mind. Me felt sympathy for Eudora and wanted to help her, especially considering the favor Eudora could do her in return. But she fully realized if her attempt to break into the archive ended badly, it would result in a tremendous scandal Bruva Hoog would not soon forget. Hmm. The pot's worth the play, I believe. Fine. I accept your offer. They then shook hands, sealing the deal. Meave had to bite her tongue to stop from crying out, for the young she-dwarf had the grip of a brawny blacksmith. Meave returned to her company and, massaging her sore hand, presented Eudora's offer. Gascon volunteered for the task at once. Thievery's my forte. The dwarves won't notice a single mothball in a place. <laughs> Gascon snuck into the archive under the cover of darkness. Just as he was tucking Eudora's desired document into his cloak, he heard dwarven boots clanking down the stairs. Damn it! Gascon swore. I can't let them catch me. What a knob. That was close. Piece of cake. Ha ha! Yeah. Luckily, Gascon managed to do the deed quietly, so the dwarves never found out who had broken in. As agreed, Meave handed Eudora the stolen document. Ha! The dwarf shouted, raising the parchment in a triumphant gesture. Da, can he do nothing if stop our making vows now? <laughs> I've got to write Zoltan right quick. Thanks. 
Thanks a million times over. And Eudora did her part too. Soon after, the Queen learned there'd been a gathering of the clans and Ivor had indeed spoken on her behalf. She could only hope the elder Breckenridge had swayed Bruva Hoog as well. <laughs>